this video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the wonderful selection of crepe papers that we have available for you here at Castle in the Air. Our fine crepe is made in Italy and Germany. So here we'll start with our finest weight crepe, ranges in weight from 30 to 60 grams. The German crepe tends to be very smooth and velvety, and the Italian crepe has just a very slightly rougher texture. And we have a wide selection. We have a nice range, a very subtle difference in the hues of red, for example. And that can be very nice when you are working on a flower and you want to achieve a more realistic effect. So you'll have a very subtle transition between some light inner petals as opposed to darker outer petals. You can also use this fine crepe to make pom-poms, fringes, it has all sorts of applications and it comes in patterns as well. Pattern is on one side of the paper. This paper, popular for party decor, has many, many applications. Very nice stuff. And then we have another roll here. It's our rainbow hued fine crepe and I personally love using it for floral projects because the ombre colors transfer really well to making old-fashioned flowers like pansies. It's also single-sided, and I find that applying adhesive or glue to the paper and doubling it up will give the paper a nice body. It will also have a little bit of stretch compared to the solid color fine crepe, and it makes it suitable for many small-scale floral projects. Our doublet crepe, one of our favorites for creating flowers. It is actually two sheets of the fine crepe that has been laminated at the factory with an adhesive. Often it comes in contrasting shades, like this blue one here. There's a purple on one side and a blue on the other. It has a very smooth, velvety finish, which is wonderful for mimicking the smooth petals of flowers like roses, for instance. And it will take color from chalks and paints beautifully. Very popular for floral crafts, as the surface is very smooth and velvety, doesn't have a lot of stretch, but the smooth surface is ideal for applying color, or for getting a nice smooth curl. Very popular for flowers such as roses, daisies, carnations. Beautiful vibrant shades are wonderful for whimsical, joyful, happy flowers. Now I'll introduce you to our florist crepe, which is probably the most popular crepe here at the castle and has the widest range of applications. Very high quality, beautifully colored, heavily crepe paper from Italy and Germany. And it's the same color on both sides and has the ability to stretch to three times its original length. Comes in two weights, 160 grams and 180 grams per square meter. Although most people find that the differences in the weights are almost imperceptible. So I've chosen two rolls of yellow crepe on my left is the 180 gram florist crepe, and on my right is slightly lighter 160 gram florist crepe. And the easiest way to tell the difference between the two visually is that you'll notice a thicker rib on the 180 gram paper as opposed to the 160 where there's a very fine horizontal ribbing on the creping of the 160 gram. Because this florist crepe is so durable, it's a favorite for oversized projects like large flowers, costumes, party decorations, lanterns, long garland streamers. We've also used the florist crepe to wrap structures, the bark that covers the large tree downstairs. So the 160 gram florist crepe comes in solid colors, but you do have the option of receiving certain shades of the 180 gram florus crepe in ombre shades. And this is just a small sample of the types of ombre crepe 
florist crepe paper that we carry and the color is printed on one side and it shows up very subtly on the contrasting side. And it's very popular with artists that like to create oversized florals or like to use the different parts of the paper to craft subtly shaded petals for smaller or life-sized floral projects. So the metallic crepe paper is wonderful for use in holiday projects where you just want to add a little bit of shimmer or shine. It catches the light beautifully. It's also wonderful to make faux metallic jewelry. If you want to make lightweight faux costume jewelry, such as this oak leaf necklace or a metallic crown, and it takes on a very nice warm patinaed quality when you dip it into beeswax. So it has lots of applications just outside of floral arts. This here is our fine metallic crepe. So it's the lightest weight of all the metallic crepe papers that we have. And here you'll see that it's very lightweight and the metallic color is on one side of the paper. Then here we have the florist crepe, the heavier weighted crepe paper that's metallic. The color is on one side. Then we have our florist metallic crepe. It's the heavier weighted metallic crepe paper. In this case, it's ombre, and the color is also only on one side. Lastly, we have the florist crepe with a contrasting color on one side, mostly in blues and browns. And the inside shades are matte shades, and the outside is your range of shiny metallic colors. So now that we've introduced you to our wonderful range of high quality European crepe paper products, we hope that you'll be inspired to use it to create your own beautiful work. Mm -hmm.